did it. Look at this, everyone. Terra Luna Classic did exactly what we were hoping for. Finally, we're at that 0 0.00012 level. Welcome back to the channel. It's a Friday. I hope you're all doing well. Slap that subscribe button if you're new here. And here we are, everyone. Look at the size of this daily candle. We were just talking about on this channel how this was a key resistance at 0 0.000117. We finally got that breakout. It looks super, super bullish. We broke out of this horizontal channel here. We did retrace slightly, which we spoke about yesterday, down to the 0 0.0001 level. And just during my sleep yesterday, look at this, we rallied through and things are going pretty crazy. So, so far, correction wise for our friend over here, let's check it out for Luna Classic. How are we looking? We're just hovering above that 0 0.618 Fibonacci retracement zone. So it is looking extremely good. Hopefully now we can actually hold this as a support level we don't want to fall back through it as what we'd want to happen now is basically this is now the resistance we've got a new range that we're trading within it took us a while to actually hold this level and get to this level it took us a long time of sideways trading i mean look check this out it took us a whole 56 days of sideways trading i say sideways still massive volatile movements but you know just trading in this range of ups downs ups downs if we check out how big this impulse wave was to the upside look at that 59%. Now, if we want to get to the next key key level of resistance over here at 0 0.00016, it's not really a, a significant move. I mean, it's still realistic. If we look at how Luna Classic has just been performing, it's it's in the ballpark. It's still around that 37 to 43 or 60% range and I, that's why i do anticipate we can still get a bounce up to that level sure it might be a bit rocky it might be like a, a bounce up here a rejection a retest you know a retest again rejection we might even come back down and then go back through and then break through aggressively like this like something like that i can imagine will happen for luna classic of course we can't predict the future but i just think this is amazing what we're seeing right now for luna classic finally getting to the point where i might not even have to start reading out all these zeros i mean that would be a blessing right so yes we've had those big pumps we've identified these key areas of support we know now that this is a major major support region written in with this um, you know we had a touchdown over here as well so so this is certainly a big big area of support that we do not want to break back through which is the 0 0.00017 right just here so if we look at the five minutes see what's going on you can see there was a bit of a bearish um, reversal here, almost like a slanted double top. Swing high, swing high, you got the neckline here, and you lose that neckline as support. As a result, we came back down, but I don't think it looks too bad, actually. It looks like we are just consolidating around this level. Um, oops. And again, like a baby-looking kind of bull flag over here on the hourly time frame. If we go back to that daily, let's have a look what's going on on the Bollinger Band side of things. So we were overextended, and I did say, you know, if we do get overextended, wow, we came up to 0 0.00138. How did I not even say this? That's mad. Like, that is really mad. So well done, Terra Luna Classic. Excellent performance. Um, but yeah, we are overextended on that Bollinger Band, as you see from previous overextensions over here, here, here. You know, we got it here as well, the fourth time in the row. Usually when we are overextended on that Bollinger Band, overextended on that 20-day moving average, you do get a bit of a reversal. Now, I'm not saying it's going to go into a complete reversal wave. Hopefully, we can hold this particular level as we get more taxing and burning for the Luna ecosystem. Lots of big things are on the way, which I think will be a positive price catalyst. Hopefully, we just don't see Bitcoin crash to like $15,000, because as a result, no matter what happens, ecosystem or update-wise, we're going to see the price of Terra Luna Classic come down. For our time frame, worth looking at very quickly, we're very overbought on the RSI. There is the um, no no major bearish divergence actually, which does look pretty good. Um, but in my opinion, we just got to hold this level here. Then we might be able to break back up to the resistance of 0 0.000135. If we can break through there, then we have 0 0.000166, right? And then what happens after that, guys? Well, if we break out from there, things will look extremely good. Um, if we look at this swing high to this swing low. I suppose the first targets of a breakout here would be looking at roughly 0.00018 or the 0.0002 dollar price level. So I do think it's realistic that we could see this for Terra Luna Classic in the near future. You can see everyone's super excited on the Twitter. It's still trending on Twitter. Of course, Luna Classic Gate IO actually have tweeted this and that's what's so important look at that gate io actually tweeted this this is amazing for luna classic and it actually deserves more retweets so go on i'll give you one 
Really, really good to see that. Terra Luna Cash today up 19.3%, up 20.9% against Bitcoin, up 22% against Ethereum. It's $800 million market cap. So I think we're going to maybe pave our way back to a $1 billion market cap. We're still ranked 213. We're getting crazy volume come in. And let's see where some of this volume is coming through. So we can see a lot of it is actually in Gate IO Exchange. It is now ranked three. Qcoin second, Binance first. It's really nice to see this sort of uh, you know transactions come through. And even some of the smaller exchanges are doing quite well. I suppose we just need to get that 1.2% tax burn implemented in as many places as possible to reduce the total supply, right? Crypto bubbles today. To be honest, the rest of the market is just looking pretty stagnant. There's not really much excitement going on with Bitcoin or Ethereum. We're just holding at this 21K range and $1,600 level. Hopefully we'll get some movement soon. You can see Bitcoin has come back into its symmetrical triangle. We tried to get a breakout, but we got a fake out. No dramas, no dramas. Unfortunately, we might see continuation to $20,000 if we do lose the support of 21.2K. Fear and greed index today, we're looking at 27. So the market is flipping a little bit fearful. Investors are losing a bit of hope once again. But all is not lost. Remember, this chart here tells you that we're still undervalued. It's accumulation season, baby. That means we can buy crypto, hold it for a while. And to be honest, I think hodling and buying is probably the best thing to do right now in small tranches. Don't just chuck everything in. Don't go DeFi degen. You know, this isn't really a casino. There is a strategy to apply here. And of course, not financial advice. Nothing I say is financial advice. I'm just a YouTuber. I like to make these videos to help you prospect the markets, do some research for you. And yeah, of course, always do your own research. Anyways, guys, please give me a subscribe for the weekend. That would be awesome make my day if you watch the whole video say i am a saddo and i watch the whole video again yes that's right see you later guys